from Liz Bouchon's latest cookbook, uh, Sweet and Savory. Yes, and we're doing the yeah. savory today. Check it out. And you used that fancy plate there, and I posted it on Facebook. One yeah. guy said it made him dizzy. Uh -oh. He needed Dramamine. Oh no, so that's we not don't, good. We don't want that. <laughs> no, we don't. So we're making some. I'm, I don't. I'm not even try to oh, pronounce it because I've never heard of it okay, before. Okay, it's Fisel bread. Fisel. Fisel, and that just means long, skinny bread. Okay. And um, I'm going to show you different ways that you can create different things using this bread. All right. But you bake it in this kind of a pan, and they call this a Fisel pan. And sometimes this is a little bit hard to find, but um, if you can't find it, I'm going to show you how to make your own pan. Okay. You can make your own pan out of aluminum foil, which I'll show you that in a second. But right. let me show you this. Um, it's a hard bread, so what you want to do is cut off the ends mm -hmm. and give them to your dog or something, whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then you can make um, mini Melba toast. Yeah. Isn't that cute? Just, you can yeah. put that under the broiler. You can have that. Okay. You can make what we're going to make today, which is a stuffed bread cube. We're going to broil one side of that and make a hole in it and fill it with filling, cheese filling. Okay. And then you can make an angled um, bread container, and you're going to broil one end so it's hard. Mm -hmm. And then I like to take my finger and make a bread cavity or a opening. Right. And then you can fill that with dressing and then fill it with vegetables. Well, how neat is that? Yeah, so you have a vegetable dip type kind of, you know, little thing. Have your so cake and eat it too. You can, mm -hmm. you can. So this recipe, this bread, you can have it with uh, salads, which is great. You can have it with uh, spaghetti, whatever you want, but you really need to learn how to make it, and it's so, so easy. So, um, let me show you this. I know, it's kind of hard. Okay, if you don't have this pan, what you can do is just take a piece of foil, okay. fold it in half, and then fold it again like this on both sides. Oh, okay. And then you can staple it together and create three separate petitions. So and is it better than doing it single to have several together, or that just helps you kind of It just helps it, it hold better. it together okay. because the bread will rise and it'll spread out. Okay. And then you can just staple it, but make sure you spray it really, really well. Okay. Okay. So now, now where am I going bread, over here? Two cups of bread flour. You want to use bread flour. Bread flour. Uh huh. And you can add. This is a teaspoon of salt. All of it. Yes. I learned this, to ask. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and then this is uh, yeast, and it's already proofed, and it's a cup of warm water, and you want that to be between 110 and 115 degrees. Then you add a package of yeast, which is about two and a half teaspoons. All right. Let that set. And it looks like root beer. Oh, it does. It's really foamed up. You want to be careful you don't process this too much, because if you do, your yeast will not do well. All right. So we'll pour that all in there. Now just put the lid on, and we'll process that for a few seconds here. And what, and what you'll see is that the... Is that it? Let me do it this way. There we go. Yeah, okay, pulse. pulse. Uh -huh. Well, you can do it longer than that because you want the bread to gather up around the edge of the bowl. Yeah. Which it's doing. Okay, let me check it. And what we'll do is still a little bit wet, so we're going to add a tablespoon of flour. More of the bread flour? Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Let's keep it going. See how it's starting to... Yeah, release from up. the sides of the edge of the pan. Okay, let's try it. Let's feel it. It's still sticky, so we want to add more? just a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. And we'll do it again. Process again. Oh, now we got it because it's moving around in there. Yeah, and that's what you want. Excellent. Okay, let's take that out. Yeah, that's pretty good. Love it. Yeah. Well, it smells it's still good a little too. bit sticky. It does, doesn't it? Oh, it's still sticky. Well, we'll finish. Yeah. In the break, and okay. then when we come back, we'll develop this and yes, we'll show stuff you how and broil stuff and, and have a great time. Okay, doke. Love it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.